Hi guys, welcome to Tutors Funny channel. In our last class, we saw the user creation part. In this class, I am going to teach the login part. Right? Uh, there are three types of uh, user uh, available in our uh, user login. Doctor, pharmac uh, pharmacist and receptionist. Okay? Okay, let me see how to do the task of login. So, let's back to our uh, project. Here I am going to go to the project folder. This is a main for project folder. Uh, select this one. Here. Here I am going to uh, create the new page as login.php page. Login.php page. Right. Now I am going to make the design first. So you have to write first HTML. Simply you have to write design. Right. Body. Now here we have to copy this two tile. Go back to my index.php this page. We have to this uh, style sheet, control C to copy, control V, in, uh, control V to paste inside the add block. Right. After that, what I'm going to do is here. Uh, I'm going to write the styles. CSS style. I'm going to write a custom style here. So I'm going to write a tag style. I write style type text CSS. Right. This is different. Right. Here first what I'm going to do is here we have to write here is uh, first body body comma t table column th heading here we have to write the color right color we have to set it as right like this zero 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 so this color right so black after that what I am going to do is we have to write another thing is a body body now here we have to enter this inside the body type we have to write the style background color we have to write here is f0 if this one 0 if 0 right this is all we have to write okay. perfect after that we have to write the style we write this another thing is style style one right here is something like that font family area this one font size font size sorry font size we have to write 40 px right padding you have right padding you have right 12 px right you have right another thing set text decoration none right this is style one right now another thing is we have to create another simple one style is and we see copy color this is style two right so we have to uh, this is same second one should be font size i'm going to increase 16 and padding 12 uh, after that we have to write a uh, the stuff is uh, here we have to write another thing so here didn't write here is uh, line height we forgot to write above and border radius radius border radius we have to write 4 fix right perfect right the same thing here we have to copy the remaining stuff Control C to copy, Control V to paste here. Uh, other stuff are uh, the same. Right, we have font, font size, right. Right, font size also, yeah, I am going to increase a little bit. 70, like 16, 70. Right. Perfect. Right. That's it. That's a style we have to write. Okay, this is a custom one, right? This custom style. In order, in order to make the login form, right? This is custom form. Uh, custom form. Now what I am going to do is here, we style it. After that, we have to write the body tag to style the form, right? First, we have to write a div class container, right? Inside the div, we have to write the table, table with hundred percentage. Height uh, 
equal 100 percentage border 0 cell padding cell facing 0 cell facing you have 0 cell facing 0 we have to write align center right after that you have to write here is tr right here td here we have to write first align center v align middle right that's the thing we have to write inside the t td we have to write the heading hmm here as we have to write here is right here right first table class table border border right. we have to write cell padding 0 cell spacing 0 cell spacing we have to write here 3 cell padding we have to write as a 3 right. right that's the thing we have to do bg color we have to write here is right here is f f f f f f right 6 f right that's it. We are right. That is right. 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 Inside the table, I'm going to write the form. Form name. I have simply write form login. ID. The same thing. Control C to copy, Control V to paste here. Right, that's the thing you have to do. You have to close the form. Right, simple. After that, you have to write a TR tag. TD height 25. Call span 2. Align left, B align middle, BG color, out right, right, class style 2. Right. After that, you have to write here is do align center right here is strong right here is right here we are right here is uh, login right so long right. saving of that after that we have to write it here in the tr this id we have to write here is after that we have to write a tr tag another one is a tr but right here is this error i have to do it here div id err style color right right after that we have to write in the tr so we have to write tr tag this one for first one for td we have to make two tds right this one for the username this one should be the text box right and here we have to write this first td we have to write style width we have to write width right width we have to set like this align left v align middle like middle class we have right style one right that's the thing we have right this one should be the username username right 
after that we have to write the text box right so the text box also the same thing you have to control c to copy control v to paste here right here we have to write the same thing uh, here we have to write the only thing here to the thing is we have to change this one as well to change the text box we have to write here as input field uh, input I write as input input uh, type text class form control class form control size ten px id username placeholder username right that's the thing you have to write we are sort of another thing name use right that's the thing you have to write this field required if you don't write required right that's the thing you have to write now what I'm going to do is here. Here we have to require we no need it. We have to remove that tough stuff. Right? If it is blank, I will be put one validation part. So we no need the require, right? So here this one should be the text box field, right? Right. Now here this username. This is the, the same TR control C to copy and wait paste below. This one you have to change it as a password. Right, password, right? The same thing you have to change it as a password field. Uh, other things are the same only we have to change this one as a input type we have to change it as a password this one we have to change it as a password the same thing you have to control c to copy this one id also the password placeholder password this one should be the password right okay the other other stuff are same right uh, after that what i'm going to see another thing we have to do this thing is a user type right so control c to copy control v to paste below this one should be the uh, user type right so we have otherwise you have to uh, type role right user role user type right the right user type user type right user type we have to do instead of the text box we have to put the uh, drop down right how to write the drop down here is you have to write the select class form control right. form control you have to write like this the ID, other things are same id id you have to write u type simple you have to write u type user type you have to simple type u type name also u type u type right placeholder same thing placeholder can see the copy this one should be the user type That's the thing we have to write here. Uh, right. That's the thing we have to write the select. Right. Now what I am going to do is here. You have to write the another thing is option. Here you have to write the option. And that is a option. Right. Option first one is a value. Value you have to write uh, here as no values I have to pass here. Simply you have to write please select first. Please select. Please select. The first one. After that, what I'm going to same option this one. And the to copy and the paste below. Right? This one should be the one. This one should be the two. Control C to copy. Control uh, control sorry. This one control C to copy. Control V to paste here. Paste here. This one should be two. This one should be the three. Here first one should be here. We have to write this one should be the receptionist. Receptionist. Now here we have to get the things in database how to how it works right go to the database how I set the user type right uh, here we are the user page right here uh, one mean pharmacist two mean doctor three mean receptionist right so one mean pharmacist right so here one mean pharmacist right 
conductor cut off this one receptionist three mean receptionist you have to write like this okay uh, the second mean doctor second mean doctor uh, doctor role uh, this one will be our uh, pharmacist fee. third one should be the first one should be the pharmacist fee. you have to write here is pharmacist That's all right. You have to write like this. Right? You, have write, you have to write like this. Okay. Simply, you have to write like this. Okay. One mean go to go there. So, uh, two mean doctor. Three mean this one. Something is right. Simple. Okay. So, perfect. After that, we need another one field for same thing here to this TR control C copy control V paste here. This one I am going to change it as a buttons. We need two buttons for that, right? So here we have to, we no need two TDs here. Yeah, I have remove one. Here we have to, what I'm going to do is you have to set it here, it's call span two. Sorry, call span two. Right, call span two, we have to put it here is, but simply we have to cut off these lines. Only we have to write here is, uh, this only. Align, right. Align, right. Other stuff are the same. Now here we have to write, put it here is, in this td we have to write a button right here right here is button type button class btn btn primary on click login Here you have to sign. Here you have to sign it. Right. The same. Same. Uh, I have to write another button. Control C to copy. Control V to paste. Here, this one should be reset. Right. That's the thing we have to write. Uh, the on-click method also I have to put it here is reset. This one should be the tension. VTN, you have to write this one should be the warning. You have to write warning or danger, you have to write warning. Save all. Let's check whether it's working fine or not, right? Let's check the login form, right? You have to write login.php. Here, let's look nice form. I have got it. This is the user design. I have designed it here. All things are safe. Now I am going to cover the user validation part right if the username and password and uh, if you uh, select the relevant role you will be able to log in the uh, index page otherwise it show the error right username or password or role incorrect right okay let me see how to do the task right so let's go back to my project right this is a design now what i'm going to do is here go back to my index.php page here we have to this is our uh, JavaScript, right? So the JavaScript, you have to this, this all the stuff you have to copy this one, right? JavaScript, right? J this is the JavaScript control C to copy. This all the things you have to copy, right? You have to copy all the stuff. Control C to copy. Go back to my login or PHP. You have to paste it, right? If you are not paste this one, your uh, jQuery is not working, right? This one should be the needed. So, right now what I am going to see, you have to write the here, right? Always you write after you paste it below the JavaScript you have to write the JavaScript code here. Right? Then only it works like right? jQuery, right? Now here what I'm going to you have to write here is script script. Start the script and close script uh, script. Now here we have to write first one is a function. You have to create a function here. Login. Right. What's the login function mean? You like this. When the user enter all the details, click login button. It goes to the function here, right? Inside the function, I'm going to check the things, right? First, if, you have to write if dollar simple, you have to type, you have to correct like this. The simple, you have to check username, username dot well, 
right the username is blank we have to show the error right so you have to write like this same thing you have to control c to copy the same thing you have to control c to copy control v to paste here you have to write dot parent parent we have a td dot at class we show the error as error the return false Control C to copy, control V to paste here. This one here to else if this one should be the password. Alright. Control C to copy, control V to paste here. All right. After that, what I am going to do is to use a type. Control C to copy, control V to paste here. This one should be a U type. Control C to copy, control V to paste here. After that, what I'm going to do is here. We have to write here is uh, we have to write uh, create the variable data. If it is blank, it show the error. That's why I'm wrote like this. If the username blank, show the error, and password blank, and all the stuff I check here, right? After that, we have to write here is we have sent the data into the uh, we all the form we have to serialize and send the data into the uh, login validation page. So we have to write here form. This is a form name this one all the data you have to serialize this is the form name right and proceed to copy and only to paste here all right that's the stuff you have to do right now you have to write here all right dot serialize 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 all right that's the thing you have to write now you have to write ajax function Call the Ajax function here. Ajax function you have right here. Ajax function you have right. Let you write like this. Something that goes. Right. Here first we have write the type. Type we call post. Post, comma, URL. URL. So type validate, 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 login. Dot PHP. Validate login. Dot PHP. Right. Comma data. 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 I mean this data. This all the form data. This all the form I see is like and put into one variable data. So here we have to write the data. Right. That's the stuff we have. Got. Now what I'm going to do is another thing is that we have to write the Ajax success function. We have to write success function. We have to write here is response. We have to write response. We have to write response. Right. We have to write response. Response. Right. Success function. We have to write. Now here we have to write here is what I'm going to write here is uh, we have to write here. Uh, first we have to write if response 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 equal to one one press one response came one it goes windows uh, dot location location dot replace replace here we have to write index.php is successfully log into the index.php else if if the same thing you have copy control c to copy control v to paste here if it is 3 it goes to here Hide dot html. 
right here is username of password of role incorrect correct and we have right here is a piece check Now type here is dot fade fade in fade in so you have right here is simple like slow right, that's the thing you have right so right right now what I'm going to do is here we have to create the page validation dot uh, validation login dot ph page we have to create and check the things right okay if the username and password correct it goes to the index dot ph page response one me if it is not correct it goes to the three it's show the error like this right now let's go to the folder php here I'm going to create the user validation part right now here I'm going to uh, make the new folder login validation folder validation login login you will create the folder as login okay right here i am going to inside the login folder i am going to make the file as validation Valid, validate login validate you have to say validate validate login dot ph right now here what I am going to do is here we have to write the uh, things here is uh, first we have to write here uh, we have to check first the username and password of sorry you have to write first we have to write the things write the php page php page php right here we have first we have to write copy and paste the country uh, this one connection this is the connection right so to control c to copy this connection control v to paste here login right uh, here login validation right this is the database connection uh, every form database connection should be the same right you have to just copy and paste this you no need to write again by again after the connection here you have to write the another you know, stuff is a session start you have to write this session start we have to write session start we have to call the method session start after that we have to write here is we have to check whether the username and password are correct so we have to write first uh, make the variable username right variable username you have to write here is username you have to post the write as a post you write as post here first you have to write here is what you have to write here is you have to write a username right this one should be another stuff is a password so control C to copy, control to paste here. This one should be password variable. I am creating a password variable here. This one should be the password. Right. Here, when you sending the values, when you click login button, it's sending the values into this page, uh, validate login page. So what are the fields available? The same name you have to give there. The username, password. The same name you have to give here. Username and password. If you wrong, if you uh, write anything mistake it's not working right the same name what you are given in the form the same name you have to give here the validation dot login as well right so after that what i'm going to do is this one should be the password field should be the md5 format so you have to write simply here uh, md5 here we have to write the bracket right so you have to open close the bracket right password should be the md5 format here like this here is a md5 format right so then you have to check like this say md5 format right so we have to write here is md5 right then only it's check after that use type user type so we have to control c to copy this one should be this one user type user type you have to write user type this certain u type you have to name it as u type here U type, right? U type, right? The same name I given here, right? After that, what I am going to do is here we have to create uh, another two variables, ID, 
and we have to write create variable and id right after that you have to write the statement right so we have to write the statement variable equal into we have to write the prepare statement connection is connection you have to get it here we have to write the prepare statement to check the call prepare statement here we have to write select select id comma this one what are the other columns available id uh, comma user u name and password u name password right id comma u name right this is these, these columns are coming from the database field here id u name password so you have write u name comma password comma u type from which page user page where u name equals uh, and password and uh, u type we call this right that's the thing we have to do right after the what I am going to do, see we have tried a statement variable this one, you have to call it here, control C, copy, control V to paste here, you have tried here, uh, bind, but I'm here we have right here is, uh, we have tried three things, so here one, two, three, three question mark there, so you have to uh, bind parameter three, you have to check here, something, here you have to check, username, doesn't use uh, you, you name, you name, comma, password, password comma you have to write u type u type right that's the thing we have to write right after that what i'm going to do is here you have to write uh, here you have to write statement execute so you have to write control c to copy control read control c to sorry you have to write here this statement you have to execute this statement you have to write execute function execute right you have to execute the code right okay after that what I am going to do is here we have to write a statement store result store result we have to store the result we have to write uh, another thing uh, we have to write statement statement bind result bind result we have to write here is the same thing the same thing control c to copy control v to paste here you have to make it as a variable these values we are sending to the page index page not password these three fields right id username and uh, user type right if the login successful so that's the thing we have to write after that you have to write the fetch statement fetch fetch right that's it now if it is checked right if statement you have to check number rows equal equal one mean if it is the uh, one what's the problem here like right if it is one mean you have to write here the things If it is one, row one, you have to write session. Sorry, session. Session, you have to write here. First one should be is login. Is login. Is login. Equal true. Right. After that, you have to write the second one should be there. These things. Control C to copy, control V to paste here. This one should be the U type. U type. This one should be the user type. You have to make the variable. This one U type variable. Control C to copy, control V to paste here. After that, you have to control C to the same thing. Control V to paste here. This one should be the ID. This ID variable. Sorry. This ID variable. Control C to copy, control V to paste here. After that, username. So, control C to copy, control V to paste here. This one username. Here, this one should be there. I have to change just use use and unit. Same, I just like this, right? This goes to the relevant page. 
right if it is one right so after that again else you have to write else otherwise you have to show the error echo three three mean show the error message and you have to close the statement you have to write statement you have to write close right that's it that's the thing you have to do right if the one if it is one it goes to the here login response here one mean is one it goes to the relevant page if the username if it is three mean it goes to the show the error message that's why here by it okay it's check the username and password here okay if it is check right you see what is the username you are typing here is coming here password that you are typing here here you have to write this one this way here control c to copy control v to paste here right this one control c to copy control v to paste here use that type control c to copy control v to paste here right right this is checked like this right what you are entered what is the result coming here so all the things are passed into the relevant variables here this variables you are called here then only it check user name password and user type right all the stuff are correct right after that you have to store the bind itself right now let's check whether it's working fine or not save all right in fact just see anything wrong uh, no problem now you have to check what is the username here john john here you have to type the password right john so you have to John, this uh, name John. John, password I have typed one two three. As uh, receptionist, click. What is that? It's not good. Ah, validate dot pitch right. The problem is here. I gave the path wrong. The validate uh, uh, login dot php is reside on the PHP folder and inside the PHP folder there, there will be the folder called login. Inside the login folder we have a file called validate login.php right. You have to access the file like this that path right. If you write like this it will. Now here I am going to log the system 1 2 3 pharmacies because John you have to go here what's the role will be John user type 1 1 mean here I have divine as pharmacist here the login right here the pharmacist right 2 mean doctor 3 mean disciplines right so 1 mean pharmacist 2 mean doctor uh, Kumar mean uh, uh, receptionist so here we have to log the system so pharmacist click login why is not happening Let's go to impact. What's the problem? Let's back to our code. Right. Go to validation. Right. The problem is here. Okay, we have to write the if as well here as well. At the top, we have to write here if server, otherwise, it's not post the value server. Server, right here, request. Just that method. Request method equal equal. You we'll write here is post. Right. Here you have to cut off this there. Control X to cut off. Control to paste. Right. That's the thing we have to write. Right. After that we have to remove the one. One bracket. That's a problem I think. Uh, the, after that we have to forget one thing if it is 3 mean show the error message here if it is 1 mean goes to index.php page so here I have forgot one thing echo 1 we have to put here echo 1 right. echo 1 mean so the results come echo 1 it goes to the relevant page to follow up right so let's control x to save all we go to the index here index.php the things correct now let's let's run the form right now let's check john user type one two three password 
Use the type pharmacist, click sign up here, it's logging successful, right? It's logging successfully. Now what I'm going to do is here, we have to make the code for the logout button, right? Here we didn't get the, when the user login, we have to get the user name here, right? So how to do the task? So let's go, right? Here, this is our index.php page. So here we have to return the header. Header we have to call the uh, this username. So go to the header.php. Here we have to call the username here. There will be the uh, here. There will be the list. Here we have to uh, call the username. So here we have to write this one is a php. Php we have to write here echo. This one will be the session. Session. So we have to write the what is the username we have to pass in your put it here. We are passing from the login. This one. Sorry, uh, validate.php. So this one. This one. Right. The same thing you have to control C copy. Control V to paste here. Alright. That's the thing. It should, it should work. If you write like this, it should work. After that, uh, okay, let's check whether it's working fine or not. Before that, we have to go to the uh, index.php. We have to write the session start. So write like this. The session start. We have to write. Otherwise, it's not work. So start the session. PHP. Write start. Session start. Let call the method session start. Right. Ask to. Right. Now let's check. I'm going to put the login speech John one two three as a pharmacist click sign up here it's coming here it's not here it's working but it's not uh, coming here the problem is why was a problem to the data dot we should be was a problem here right the problem is here this anchor tag we have to close it here the span tag here the span tag and uh, anchor tag here to close it here that's a problem so the anchor tag here to close it here right. now let's check refresh it right it's coming like this here so right it's coming like this use a jump right here we have to put the span tag here will be see like this what happening right it's working perfectly here use a job here it's working perfectly okay you have to make it here like this right right that's a problem now here we have to give the link for the logout logout logout.php logout.php page this one should be logout when you click the logout button it should be logout the phone so what I am going to do is here, go to the project, new file, we have to create a logout, logout.php. Well, here we have to write simple, we have to write this one here is, uh, we have to write php type, simple, we have to write, and here is session destroy. Well, first, we have to write this one as a uh, if, first, we have to write if session destroy this session destroy what happened you have right here is header location we have set it to the let's add a location right login.php right here That's the thing we have right. Right? Now let's save all. Now let's check. So we have to log the system and check. John one two three pharmacist login. Click log out. Here the problem session destroy initialize session. What is the problem? Line three. 
here the problem is here you have to start the session session start so try the session start and you have to write like this okay you, do, you don't leave the uh, here space that's why the, the error okay now let's save all now let's log the system again john one two three pharmacist click login login successfully if you click log out it's locked out, right if you uh, write the different user james one two three this one should be uh, james doctor click login it's working for okay it's working for right i hope you guys you understood the login part well in my next tutorial i'll be teaching the doctor creation part right thank you for watching if you like my channel please subscribe me like me thank you for watching